Okay, friends, we are gonna be trying something. So basically, there are no oak trees in this area. Um, like, I would say within a good half mile of here, there's no oak trees. Uh, so we have collected acorns the last few years and, um, and thrown them out to see if the deer would actually eat them um, with varying success. Like these, I threw these acorns out <clears throat> earlier in the year and they're still here. Um, so, but I never put a camera on the acorns to see if the deer would, would go to them. So my question is, if I have two bags here of acorns that we just picked up, I'm going to throw them in front of the camera. Will the deer eat them or will the deer simply, um, ignore them and act like it's a, a rock because they're not used to acorns because there's no oak trees around here. There's more fruit trees and stuff like that. Now I will say, so last year I threw acorns out and I actually had some oak trees growing, little oak trees growing, uh, which I thought was cool and I'm going to let them go. I'm not going to do anything with that. So we're going to throw these out in random order um, and uh, they're going to be right in front of the camera and then we are going to see what comes to uh, visit these acorns. There's no, there's nothing else out in front of that camera for the deer to um nibble on or anything like that so it is it's a field but it's it's still green uh september 15th so that's the timestamp we're going to look for in the videos to see if anything comes after that and then we're going to talk about it all right so continuing on with the question do deer eat acorns like if you had buckets of acorns and you came out and you dumped them uh would the deer eat them so it's the end of the deer season and you see we still have a lot of acorns that were just basically untouched the caps are still on them and i mean raccoons came by there's deer print right there there was a salt block here there's remnants of it right there so but if you look around i mean look at all these acorns are still here and I don't remember if I said this at the beginning of the video but there are not any oak trees near me um, so my my thought was I'll bring acorns here and dump them and it'll feed the deer the deer will go crazy over them right that was my thought I think um, well, I'm gonna get out of the uh, wind here and we'll talk about it what, what really happened so there's a big i mean right next to acorns big things and i probably ended up dumping um a few five gallon buckets uh that we put in bags but a few of them in this area um and they're all still here i mean well I mean, not all of them but i mean there's a lot still here so let's go inside and talk about it So we are here to discuss the uh, the acorn and deer question. If we dumped out gallons and gallons and gallons of acorns, why aren't the deer, because there are deer here, why aren't the deer consuming the acorns? Well, one, you have to think about, uh, I live in an area where there's not a lot of acorn, um, there's not oak trees here. So there's no acorn production. They're not used to the acorns on the ground uh that is one um concern is if, if i had a bunch of cotton candy and i put it in a field um some animals would go get it but other animals would be like this is foreign i'm not gonna go near it uh, that's that's life uh animals know if something's supposed to be there and if something's not supposed to be there if i don't have any apple trees and i put apple scented stuff everywhere the deer are going to get a little leery. Now, eventually they may get used to this, which is why I've been trying to do this over and over and over again. For one, I know somewhere these ac these acorns are getting planted um, near me be, and then by way of the squirrels and the birds and stuff like that. So eventually, like, we are going to have oak trees and they are going to produce acorns. That's going to be in quite a few years, but eventually it's going to happen. Um, now with 
with the issue of why are there so many sitting out still? Even with the current wildlife, let's say a deer's not going to eat it. Why wouldn't a squirrel get it? Why wouldn't a um, skunk or raccoon, why aren't they eating it? I'm not positive uh, on that. Maybe it's because like when I go out and collect these acorns or when these acorns are collected, maybe they're not collected so fresh. So maybe they're a little bit older. And uh, um, but, but then again, a skunk and a raccoon or a possum wouldn't really care. And they would just be like, hmm, acorn. Uh, I don't know, though. Uh, and maybe the deer like the fresh ones. But then again, maybe not. I do not know. I do not know. Uh, I don't think it's hurting, though. I will say that. Um, I don't think this is hurting. This experiment is hurting the deer coming to my property at all, especially when I spread them out. If I put them in a big pile, what happens is it molds. Um, and I found out the first year I ever did this, I put them in at the cutout log and then they kind of molded and stuff like that. Um, so um, I'm spreading them out, throwing them out, spreading them out. Um, and hope, and, and I, I do that also in hopes that uh, they will get planted. So um, that uh, a squirrel or just them sitting on the ground or a bird will, will plant one of these and it'll grow into an oak tree and produce acorns on itself. And then I will have acorns. That's gonna be quite a long ways away because of the production of, of, of that whole process. But you get what I'm saying there. So uh, is it hurting? No. Is it helping? Possibly. It's, I mean, I, I'm sure some deer are coming, at least as they're walking by and eating some of the acorns. Because some of the acorns are not there. I literally put out probably 20 gallons of acorns this year and you can I mean you can go out there and if I were to collect all of the acorns that are out there on the ground maybe there's 10 gallons maybe five left so the acorns are getting consumed uh, or moved um, in in a way so uh, is are is something consuming them as far as deer that go I believe so yes um, and it's not scaring them away I mean the deer tracks go right it right right through where I threw the acorns so um, I'm gonna keep it up I'm gonna keep it up and this is gonna be a long-term experiment so yeah yeah there we go so there we go that's so we'll give it a score because I like to give things score like would I do this again yes okay uh, zero to ten if I think it's working on deer attractant deer attractant I would probably give it a six um, I, so I don't think it's uh, attracting deer from, you know, the other side of the field, but I do think it's probably attracting a deer going, you know, that is 10 feet away or 10 yards away from my property to be 10 yards, yards closer. Uh, so that's what I would say about that. Um, let's say, uh, so attract that. Is it feeding? Am I providing substance for deer? No. Uh, so on that score, I would give that like a three or four, like a, a deer would probably eat a honeysuckle branch before it would eat you know, what, what, what I'm throwing out there. Um, yeah. So there we go. There's my scores. Uh, yes, I'm going to do it again because I don't think it's hurting anything and, um, it's, it's not overly helping, but it's not hurting. So may as well. So there you go. Enjoy the pictures at the end of this video. Those are going to be deer pictures from the game camera, from the area that we threw down the acorns. Make sure you like, subscribe, share this video, share the channel. That's how the channel grows. And, uh, and thank you and God bless.